It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Former U.S. Ambassador Marie Ivanovich testified yesterday at the impeachment hearing, and you know she made Trump nervous because he tweeted this during her testimony. Everywhere Marie Ivanovich went turned bad. She started off in Somalia. How did that go? <laughs> well, as long as we're talking about track records, Trump started off in Atlantic City. How did that go? <laughs> Even Fox News thought attacking Ivanovich was a bad move. Should the president be tweeting at her mid-hearing? No, it makes him look like a big dumb baby. <laughs> and that's what they're saying on his favorite channel. That's like if your kid turned on Nickelodeon and Dora was like, hey, You'll never learn to read, fatty. <laughs> Republicans like Jim Jordan, who's still kind of getting the hang of smiling, <laughs> tried to discredit the impeachment investigation with unrelated conspiracy theories, including Devin Nunez's claim that Democrats are only doing this so they can get nude photos of Trump, which I wish was true, <laughs> because it would be so fun to see those pictures leak and then hear Trump describe his body as perfect. <laughs> Trust me, no one is looking for naked pictures of Donald Trump. I googled Donald Trump nudes, and Google said, you take your nasty ass to Bing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, now you said it, Colin. Yeah, because that impeachment hearing was crazy. I, I was watching it at home like, like we were supposed to, and I was like, what? <laughs> I didn't watch it per se, but I got the gist of it just now when you was uh, talking about it. Can I be honest? <laughs> I don't think I care if Donald Trump is actually guilty. I just want something to happen to him. Okay, hypothetically, if you found out for a fact that Donald Trump was actually innocent, but they were sending him to jail anyway, would you mind? <laughs> See, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> is that fair? Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> Rudy Giuliani I'll is watch it next time. Watch it. <laughs> Rudy Giuliani has reportedly been telling people that he's launching a podcast, but the people he's been telling just stand there quietly in the department store. <laughs> <laughs> Lawyer, lawyers for President Trump have filed an appeal to the Supreme Court to keep his tax returns secret, so you know they're bad. This is like if your girlfriend asked to see your texts and you just threw your phone in the ocean. <laughs> Yesterday, Roger Stone was found guilty of multiple federal crimes. And I don't know if y'all remember, but this guy once put out an ad on the internet looking for muscular, well-hung black men. So, jackpot? <laughs> <laughs> and sad, sad news this week as Sean Spicer was eliminated from Dancing with the Stars. I know, it's hard, yeah. President Trump tweeted his support for Spicer, saying, A great try by Sean. We're all proud of you. But Sean, if you're watching, no, we're not. Stephen Miller has been accused of promoting white nationalism in a series of 900 emails he sent to Breitbart. Isn't it funny that it's always guys who look like this that are promoting white supremacy? He looks like he dresses up as his mother to commit knife murders. I feel like if you're going to be a white supremacist, you should look like Colin, at least, right? What? I, I mean, if, <laughs> if I were trying to prove the superiority of the Aryan race, I wouldn't use Stephen Miller's face. I'd use yours. Yeah, you don't have to make that uh, point. Don, I mean... do, do a split screen of Colin and Stephen uh, Miller for one uh, second. You don't have to do Just, that. Okay, That's now. Not... Audience, by a round of applause. <laughs> Who do you think Hitler would want to be friends with? <laughs> Stephen Miller or Colin Nixon Jost? <laughs> That's not my middle name. <laughs> you just stop it? Just take the compliment, bro. You're beautiful. Well, thank you. 